Good afternoon, everyone. This is September the 11th. It's Patriots Day. It's a sad remembrance of what happened 19 years ago to our nation when terrorists attacked our country in Shanksville, not Schwanksville, but Shanksville, Pennsylvania, at the Pentagon, and of course the Twin Towers in New York. Oh, it was horrible. I remember where I was. I was at Holy Savior Rectory in Norristown. I was the assistant pastor. Today they call the assistant pastors parochial vicars. I'm sure you heard of that term. And I just had finished an early appointment. Someone wanted to see me early in the morning and um, I had just finished the appointment and I came out of the office and the secretary Marie Salomon, she said, Father, something terrible just happened in New York. And she put the television on in the rectory and we were watching it. We could not believe our eyes. Well, today at the nine o'clock mass and at 10.15 and then 11.15, we had remembrances of 9-11, 2001. So at nine o'clock I offered Holy Mass for peace and justice. I offered a vote of Mass. Remember I told you when it's a ferial day, it's like a free space on the bingo card? So a priest can opt to do a vote of Mass like for peace and justice. And so I did at nine o'clock. Then some of the grades came over for a 10:15 mass and i celebrated mass again a vote of mass for peace and justice and i explained to the children about what happened 19 years ago on this day then at 11:15, our principal mr phil repco gathered the students outside around the flagpole and he put together a very beautiful prayer service memorial remembrance. I say that because it was just beautifully tied together with a bow. And each of the kids in the eighth grade took part as a narrator. And then Mr. Repco asked me to do the final talk and prayer. And I rang the school bell. Well, the outdoor bell, I should say, the yard bell, 19 times. A ring for each year since 2001. Well, it was very beautiful in that sense of a remembrance of a memorial. So we had two masses and a prayer service. So I asked you in your own private prayer to remember and beg the Lord that he fills this country with the graces we need to preserve peace and justice for all. That's very important. So how do we do it? I mentioned at Mass that it begins with me. You know, there's that wonderful hymn, Let Peace Begin With Me. Let there be peace on earth, and let it begin with me. Everyone loves that song. In fact, we priests and deacons really know that you love that song because when Mass is over and there is a recessional hymn, Let There Be Peace on Earth, we are waiting outside and we know that you're not coming right away because you want to stay for that hymn. You like it, and that's a good thing. But that hymn teaches us a lot. So my reflection today is about peace for today and every day of our life. You know, peace must begin with me. It's easy to talk about everybody else having peace. But I have to have peace first. I have to have peace of mind and peace.
peace of heart and soul. And I already could get that from God. God, who is the author of peace and the giver of peace, can give me that if I petition him, if I pray, and if I earnestly ask, Lord, fill my life with your peace. Let me allow that peace to fill my heart. You know, I was telling the people at Mass today that the greatest gift and the first of the gifts after the resurrection that Jesus gave us was his gift of peace. He said to the apostles, peace I give you, peace I leave you. And the, the prayers of the Mass dictate that. It's a beautiful gift of peace. When you think of peace, what do you think of? I guess calmness, prayerfulness, unity, love, gentleness, cooperation. There are some of the words that I think of when I think of peace. So peace begins with me, in my family. You know, how are you getting along with members of your family? your spouse, your children, your grandchildren, your in-laws? How about your neighbors? How about your fellow parishioners? How about society in general? Our nation? Peace begins with me first. It's easy for me to point of other people but three fingers point back at me when I point to somebody else. Pointing should never be in condemnation. Pointing should only be showing us the way, never to condemn, never to look down on a person. If you are looking down on a person, it should be only to pick them up. So, what happened 19 years ago when, as I mentioned, Shanksville, the Pentagon, and New York was terribly attacked by our enemies, the enemies of these United States. You know, we're called to love all people and we're a nation that welcomes all. But we have to remember to welcome them in the name of peace and justice. You know, we have to make sure that our borders are protected from any enemies that would want to come in and harm us. So we do welcome the stranger. But we have to make sure that that stranger also has the thought of peace. That they want to come into the nation under peaceful terms. You know, when I look at all the looting and the rioting and not peaceful protests, but harmful, destructive protests, I think how sad, because this nation was built upon the ideas of a unity of persons. And in order for a unity of persons to come together, we have to respect one another. Because we're going to disagree with each other. But as long as at the end of the day, we can shake hands and pray for one another, all is good. We are going to differ. But our differences should not be to harm. Our differences is to open our minds and to see other people's point of view. You know, if we live in this land, and we're part of these United States of America, we should promote the Constitution. We should promote what 
this land stands for and not to be destructive. And yes, we all need to take care of every single life, born and unborn, white, black, Asian, Puerto Rican, all nations that have come into this land, who want to come in this land from other nations, to welcome them but to do it with the idea of you're coming here because you want a part of what this nation stands for. And us who are part of this nation, we need to stand up for what is good, just, and holy. And if there's something not right, and there are things that are not right, people are dying unjustly. We need to stand for that. But we don't destroy. Stand for that and demand that things change. But not at the point of destruction. The point of evil. Absolutely not. How do we change things? By our voice. First, petitioning God and to petitioning those people who work for us in this country, our legislators, to make sure that everything is what it's supposed to be. And when we're falling short of that, to demand, to demand that that change, but never to destroy it never to harm, but always to promote justice, unity, and peace for all people. Why does that sound right, but it's hard to do? Why? Why is it hard for us to do that? We need to come together. And that's not a matter of political parties. It's a matter of being human, human. There is built in us a DNA from God of to follow what is right, good, and just. So people would want to harm the U.S. And we have to make sure that our borders are safe. Our airways are safe. Our waterways are safe from any attack of an enemy that want to harm us. But we have to make sure that our streets, our neighborhoods, our homes, our communities are safe as well. And to make sure that our police and our first responders are doing what they're called to do. And you know what? Most of them are. Will there be some that are not? I'm sure. But let's make sure they get on board. And if they're doing something wrong, let's make sure we go to the proper authority and continue to voice and voice and voice and voice our disappointment until that's changed. Using this and not weapons of destruction. You know, if we're gonna live in this land, we have to respect this land. And we have to use our right to vote and our right to speak on behalf of all life all life, from the first moment of conception and all of its stages until natural death. And all life, all races, all ethnic backgrounds, all religions, to have a respect. 
do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So if you would not want anyone to do that to you, don't you do it to them. Isn't that the golden rule? So what do we learn about today? What do we learn about Patriot Day? First of all, we can't be an embarrassment to our own United States. In other words, citizens of this country should not behave as if they were terrorists. Citizens of these United States should respect, respect this land. Owners of property, people who defend and protect all the citizens. And I understand, I do. If there's people that don't do that in their own profession and job, well then we have to make sure they do. But we do it peacefully. How can we teach our children if we as adults are showing them by our example Let's destroy and burn if we don't get our way. Let's kill if we don't get our way. Is that what we want to teach? I don't think so. I think we want to teach to change bad behavior. <coughs> Excuse me. It's true. They say when well, you sneeze, it's true. We have to we have to change bad behavior. Whether it's enemies outside of these United States or within these United States. So let's work for peace and justice. I celebrated two masses today for peace and justice. Pope St. Paul VI said, if you want peace, work for justice. That's a powerful statement. God is just. And God has laws to be obeyed. Laws are there for our protection and for all. Can we obey them? And if laws are not being obeyed, I think proper people should make sure that they are respecting those laws. And if the people in authority are breaking the law, then we must also make sure that they realize that they are wrong and receive the penalty that they deserve. Well, it's a lot to think about today, isn't it? Especially as I remember September 11th, 2001, when I was the assistant pastor at Holy Savior Parish in Norristown. Coming out of the parish office with a parishioner, realizing something was wrong because the secretary had a horrible look on her face. And then we began to watch how enemies have attacked innocent people. Yes, let there be peace on earth. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me and make sure I do everything in my power of prayer and of protection of all people around me and people I come into contact with to protect defend, honor, and respect all people, especially in these United States, from any attack of the enemy. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.